Hello friends, let us learn about one more smaller topic in stomach which is gastrointestinal stromal tumor which is called as GIST. It is a rare tumor of the gastrointestinal tract but it is the most common non-epithelial tumor of stomach. All the uh, most of the tumors are epithelial tumors so this is the most common non-epithelial tumor of GIT and among them it is most common in stomach. It is equal in males and in females uh, and it is most common between 50 to 70 years of age and gastrointestinal tumor uh, it originates from interstitial cells of kajal interstitial cells of kajal what is a kajal this is a pacemaker cell that intercalates between intercalates between smooth muscle cells and intramural neurons a mutation in of tyrosine kinase gene tyrosine kinase and platelet derived growth factor alpha are some of the pathogenic theories which are seen then gastrointestinal stromal tumor can be divided into three types based on the tumor size it can be divided as low risk where the tumor size is less than two centimeters intermediate risk where the tumor size is five to ten centi sorry uh, two to five two to five centimeters sorry uh, very low risk where tumor size is two to five centimeters uh, less than two centimeters sorry gastrointestinal stromal tumor is divided into three types the first type is very low risk where the tumor size is less than two centimeters or it can be low risk where the tumor size is two to five centimeters or it can be intermediate risk where the tumor size is five to ten centimeters or it can be high risk where the tumor size is more than 10 centimeters so this is how the gastrointestinal stromal tumors are divided are div divided based on the risk so these uh, gists they express c kit cd117 mutations so this is th this can be used as a specific marker so what are the clinical features so this is specific marker the major clinical feature includes number one abdominal pain and GI bleed weight loss can occur there can be large mass abdomen and this mass is submucosal so this is mucosa so mass is here so has mass is submucosal it will compress the mucosa so mass is in submucosa so this will generally compress the mucosa it will metastasize to liver and then peritone and peritoneum but it never metastasize to regional lymph nodes these cells can be spindle shaped or epithelioid 
or both. Then there is a triad which is associated with this uh, gastrointestinal stromal tumor. That triad is called Carney's triad. This Carney's triad shows three major things. They are extra adrenal paraganglioma. And then pulmonary chondroma and it also shows gastric GIST. So these are the major triad which is seen in Carney's triad. So what are the investigations that you do for this tree for this uh, GIST? gastrointestinal stromal tumor the major investigations that you do is CT scan mainly and you can do tumor marker that is uh, uh, CKIT CD7117 mutation this can be checked for tumor marker and you can do endosonographic graphy and then this is guided with a biopsy. Biopsy is done by guiding through endosonography. And 18 fluorodeoxyglucose PET scan can also be done. And what is the treatment? The best treatment is surgical resection of the tumor. And then you can give imatinib misylate which is an oral drug and this will inactivate tyrosine kinase KIT kit so that it prevents phosphorylation of receptor and thus no proliferation this is used if tumor size is more than 10 centimeters and whenever there is spillage or intraperitoneal rupture peritoneal rupture and also whenever there is hemorrhage in gastrointestinal stromal tumor there is also a newer drug which is SU11248 it also inhibits tyrosine kinase receptor and blocks platelet derived growth factor receptor antigen so there is one more drug which is sunitinib which is used in imatinib refractory cases. So what are the prognostic factors? The prognostic factors include the size of GIST should be more than 5 cm and it should have high mitotic activity that is more than 10 mitosis per high power field and there should be there can be liver spread and also kit exon 9 mutation if this is more more aggressive than kit exon 11 mutation so there can be mutation in gastrointestinal stromal tumor if it's more than 5 cm then that is worse prognostic factor high mitotic activity worse prognostic factor and uh, liver spread worse prognostic uh, prognostic factor whereas KIT exon 9 mutation is more worser when compared to KIT exon 11 mutation 
Thank you friends for watching my video. Uh, this is about gastrointestinal stromal tumor. In the next class, we will learn about the topics which were left in the gastric, in the stomach. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you feel something is inadequate in this lecture, please comment it in the comment section. If you want some new topics, then even then comment it in the comment section. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you.